What's up, RCHS? I'm Carter. Evan. And this edition of Lions Live starts right now. Looking to purchase your yearbook for a low price? Do so quickly because our back to school sale is almost done. Make sure your yearbook is purchased by Friday, September 3rd and purchase it for $50. Prices will increase, so buy now. For lunch today, Bosco steak with marinara, cooked carrots, and dirt pudding, fruit, and milk. There will be a key club meeting this Friday during SRTB in the lecture hall. Young Life is back, open to all high school students. Crud Club will be Sunday, September 12th at 6.26 p.m. The night will be full of water, mud, and paint. Prepare to get messy, eat pizza, and have the time of your life. Located at Mahomey Valley. Charlie and Ray Photography is accepting walk-ins for senior portraits. Choose from one of the following days. September 8th from 4 to 7 p.m. September 12th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. September 19th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And September 29th from 4 to 7 p.m. Photos are taken in the BRMS cafeteria and cost $25. These photos must be taken by September 29th. Now let's kick it to Smiley with sports. Thanks, guys. Today's weather is 66 with a high of 79 and a low of 57. It's a little bit windy, so wear a jacket. That's it for me. Back to the desk. Thanks, guys. Today's weather is 66 with a high of 70. FCA will be having its first meeting of the year Wednesday during SRTB. Anyone is able to attend, and you do not have to be an athlete to attend. Now let's hear with Michaela with a sports update. Thanks, guys. The Russia Lions tennis team defeated Franklin County last night with a score of 4-1. to one. Lions were led by Sam Smith and Cameron Jackman in their singles matchup, and Jensen Smith and Trevor Hunter in doubles. The Lions will next be in action tonight as the Oldenburg Twisters come to town. The Lady Lions soccer team defeated Triton Central last night with a final score of 6-3. to three. Scoring for the Lions were Allie Young, Savannah Gray, Lily Crodel, and Jen Califf. Here are some of the girls with their thoughts on tonight's game. All right, we're here with Ali Young. And how did last night's soccer game go? Uh, last night's soccer game went very well. Uh, we beat a team that we've struggled to beat in the past. Um, last night's game showed how much we are improving as a team and how the season can look. Um, we've always struggled in the past, but I think this year, especially with the way we played last night, it shows how good we've gotten. All right, thank you. All right, we're here with Audrey Goley. And how did last night's soccer game go? Um, we, went very, we did very well. Um, we uh, communicated good, and we just worked together as a team. All right, thank you. All right, we're here with Lily Warner. And how did last night's soccer game go? I think we did really well as a team. We worked together and communicated really well. All right, thank you. The boys' soccer team lost last night in their matchup with Richmond last night with a score of 5-0. to zero. For sports action tonight, the volleyball team will take on Franklin County at home with a start time of 5.30. That's it for me. Now back to the desk. This is it for this edition of Lions Live. Have, Have a great, great day, day RCHS. RCHS.